Hello Netherlands, this is Kel, Alina's on the camera. We're in Huntington, Long Island at the Hilton Hotel where Rashida Jolly, an abstinent speaker and harpist, will be spreading the message of chastity at a federally funded community-based event. The promoters of this conference say they aren't motivated by religious faith, which is understandable. Mention religious motives in public and the government might just take away your funding. <clears throat> My name is Rashida Jolly. I am several things, actually. I'm a motivational speaker, a harpist, and a singer, and also a songwriter. I speak on self-esteem, self-respect, success, abstinence. I care about our young people. That's why I do what I do. Sometimes the portrait of abstinence is, you know, some old lady, <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, kids, you know, be abstinent. So, you know, I want to show them, hey, it's Kip, it's cool, you know, to, to make a decision that can positively impact your life is so empowering. This is how it's benefited me. This is how it can benefit you. And present it like that, and they won't feel like you're telling them what to do, but that you're showing them how to make positive choices. I've had the wonderful opportunity to speak on abstinence several times in New York, and every time I speak, I get uh, recommended to go to somebody else, and they're all like buddies or something. <laughs> all these organizations are like connected. special presentation. So I ask all of you to please stand up and make some noise. We need to make a lot of noise for Ms. Rashida Jolly. So I'm not gonna get anything else. You know, it's like chicken pox. You only get you only get it once. No, it doesn't work out like that. One out of every four people in America has a sexually transmitted disease. Now, can I get you all over here to say fifty two thousand? Go. Fifty two thousand. Great job. Every day in America, 52,000 people contract a sexually transmitted disease. Now, some people want to argue about whether or not you will contract an STD or not. There are other emotional consequences, having to wrap your mind around things at a young age that you shouldn't have to be concerned about. Instead, you know, I was taking that time in heart lessons. <laughs> Who in America has the best sex life? Let's see if y'all can get the answer. Do single people have the best sex life? Make some noise with my young Savant, what do you think it is? Single people have the best sex life? No. no. Prostitutes, do they have the best sex life? No. It's just so therapeutic and just so relaxing and, you know, it's a stress reliever. Pick up the harp. <laughs> it was proven that married people have the best sex life. It has helped me to attain many of my goals because I was able to focus on, you know, I didn't have to worry about, you know, some of the consequences of engaging in sexual activity. There is no condom, contraception, nothing, no birth control that can protect your heart. Let me just say, oh, it's true. It's very true. If you had an ATM card and you dated somebody, and that person comes up to you and says, "Can I get that ATM card with that password?" You got money in the bank. What you gonna say? No. What you gonna say? No. If you wouldn't give them your ATM card because you're afraid that they will get your money, why would you give them your body?
you're more valuable than any amount of money in this world. It's like something you kind of really should do because it like affects your whole life if you don't. It, like the rest of your life you're like carrying that like burden of what you did and you like regret it. Like I haven't really asked them about their opinion. But, like most of my friends just think that you should be use protection. So, yeah, they should be taught to use protection. First time you ever um, are with your husband, it's going to be the best time ever. So I believe that you should wait and save yourself for that magical moment. I am married to my heart. No. <laughs> He'll probably sound so crazy right now. <laughs> I really do feel like that. I know my heart inside and out. <laughs> 